In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create folders and files using OneDrive on Office 365. After signing in on Office.com, click on OneDrive. I'm starting from an empty OneDrive, so there are no files or folders yet, but they will appear in the space. Click on New and select Folder to begin. For this example, I'm going to use the first semester courses in the paralegal program at Centennial College. Type the name for your folder and click Create. After typing the name, you can also press Enter on your keyboard to create the folder. The formal name of this next course is Legal Research slash Writing, but you cannot use certain characters in folder names. Repeat as many times as necessary. It's easy to edit the names of these folders. Legal Research Writing sounds awkward to me, so I'll change this to Legal Research and Writing by clicking toward the left of the name and selecting Rename at the top. I'm also going to change the name of the last folder, but notice how if I select it before deselecting the other folder, the option to rename will not be available. Once the first folder is deselected, the rename option will appear. Let's call this folder Communication and Writing. Another way to deselect folders is to click on the X near the top of your screen. There are several possible ways to create files within Office 365. I'll start by clicking on New at the top, but this time I'll choose Word Document instead of Folder. The online version of Word opens within my web browser. From here I can type anything I would like, such as my typed notes for PRLG 701 Day 1. When I go to File, Save As, Word explains that there's no Save button because the document constantly saves automatically. I'll click on Save As to name this file and choose a specific folder for this document. When I click Save, the file will become associated with this folder. In my root directory, I have a document.docx because this is a previous version of the file that Word saved before I specified a specific location. In the PRLG701 folder, I have the file that I just named day one. I can click on the file name to open it again. In this case, both versions are the same because I didn't type very much for this demonstration. These two items are separate files. I can confirm this by editing my day one file and typing more things that are important for this class. This time I can just close the tab because I can see at the top that my file name has been established and the new typing has been saved. When I return to the file called document.docx, we can see that only the original first line of text exists. Unlike in my second file, which is up to date. Starting back at the office.com dashboard, I can create a new file in a different way. I'll click on Word and then New Blank Document. From this familiar interface, I can type the content of my document, and I can repeat the procedure for naming and saving the document as before. This time I'll place it in my folder for PRLG 703. 
Back on the dashboard, I'll demonstrate one more way to create a new Word document. Click on Start New, choose Document, and carry on as before. The procedure for naming and saving is always the same. This time I'll use my folder for PRLG 704.